Right. You're on. You ready, I'm going to start the Instagram. Okay. All right. Well, happy Monday, everyone. Uh, yeah. Yesterday was definitely an interesting day across our country. And so my deepest condolences to anyone who's experiencing a heightened level of sadness or stress right now. I know it's definitely a weird time towards America. Um, with that being said, I think it's especially important that we take really good care of our bodies and minds right now. So let's keep working out hard, doing great things. Um, greetings here from Santa Monica, California. Uh, still in my living room, still doing my thing. And I'm glad that everyone's here to join. So take a big sip of water if you've not already had your glass today. Um, typically, before we start training, we want to drink a glass about this big of water. Um, but if you haven't already done that, it's fine. You'll survive. Take a big sip to start. And if you've already had a glass, you can take another sip. Can't hurt. All right. Bands are on. Cycles are rolling. If your cycle's not already going, go ahead and pop it on. Today, I am going to start at group. And I'm going to actually start low because I did a workout this weekend uh, and my arm's a little tired. But feel free to adjust accordingly for you. Uh, smaller muscles to bigger muscles first. We're going to start with our forearms, with what I call <laughs> forearm stars. Um, so I pull my elbows in, and I start to extend my fingers out, make fists, extend out, and make fists. So we've got two 40-second sets of those, and we're going to start here in three, two, and one. We start to make stars out, in, out, in. And I recommend the pacing for this one be slower. So you're pressing something away with your fingertips and you're gripping something with your hands. Out, in, out, in. And noticing if your elbows are starting to flare out to the side. Good, and I wanna make sure that I keep my wrists in line with my shoulders, so no letting them fall. Out, in, good, last 10. Then we're gonna take a rest and we're gonna go fast. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and give it a shake. All right, same exact thing. This time we're going fast. Out, in, out, in. Imagine you're grabbing, grabbing something as you press out through the fingertips. In three, two, one. Let me get my cycle going again, and let's go. Out, in, out, in. So I like to think of analogies a lot when I work out, and my analogy for this exercise would be think fireworks. Boom, explode explode. Yes. There is nothing slow about a firework. And if you want to go super fast, by all means, now is your chance. Get moving. Start to wake up those forearms. And when I look down at my arms now, I see veins starting to pop out. Maybe even noticing if your arms are darkening in color ever so, ever so slightly, which is actually a good thing. We want that. Good. Last 10. Keep those fireworks going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good job. This next move is a brand new one for our workout today. You can either do it on your hands in plank or on your knees in tabletop. We are working at specifically the muscles of our triceps, the back of our arms. So if you want to do it in plank position, I come into plank. I drop my forearms down. I press back up into plank. Forearms down, back up into plank. Otherwise, on your knees, same thing. Down, up, down, up. These ones kill me. So let's give it a shot together. Two 40 second sets. First one in three, two, one. Make your way into plank position. Keep pulling your heels back the whole time. Drop the forearms down. Press up, down, and up. We feeling it? I hope so. Let me see who's on today. Keep going through it. If it gets to be too hard, by all means, drop your moves. Drop your moves. Drop your knees. Same move. Just keep your knees down. And I suggest finding a bit of traction. So you want to be pushing the floor away from you with your palms the whole time you do it. Down, up, down, up. And if you're doing it in plank, it is pretty darn hard. So feel free to move slowly, whichever variation. Down, up. We have five. One more. Four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Tricep stretch, right arm. Those are hard in plank. Those are really hard. I saw a couple of people start out in plank and be like, uh-uh, not happening. Switch it up. Second set. 
So that tempo I was doing of down, up, down, up is incredibly fast. If you want to try it in plank, you were not comfortable with it before, feel free to slow it down. Create your own pace. We're going to go again in three, two, one. So either making your way up into plank or staying on your knees, we drop down, press up. Forearms down, press up. It's hard. Yes. Arms are working, bands are working. Whether you're on your knees or on in plank position, I want you to keep a 90 degree angle in your elbows. So try not to let them splay out to the side. We wanna keep them in line, down, up, down, up. Beautiful, Instagram's working, Zoom is working. We're all going together. Last seven, come on. Nice, Gabe, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Justin, I saw you working through it. Good job. Shake it out. Next up, plank to Superman push-up. So I'm going to move my device out of the way. I come into plank position again. I lower all the way down as if I were doing a push-up, but I drop my belly to the floor. I extend my arms and my legs out. Superman, bring the hands down, push right back up. I come all the way down. I stand out. Superman or woman, push right back up. These ones, totally fine to do on the knees as well. You can come down, reach, press back up, okay? Two 40-second sets. Make sure your cycle is rolling. If you need to restart it now, go ahead and do that so we don't stop in the middle of exercise. Starting in plank position in four, three, two. Here we go. So we come all the way down under our bellies. Extend the arms. See if you can lift arms and legs. Root the hands underneath the shoulders, right back up into plank. Yes, and as you're doing this, making sure that your hips are not sagging. So I want a nice, even spine, using your core, using your glutes as you push yourself back up. Woo, beautiful. Yes, there we go. Nice, Quentin. Last 10, let me see one, maybe two more. We have eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and shake out your wrist. Give yourself a rest. While we're here, let's take a quick cap refill check. Let me see the base of your palm. Press it. If it turns from white back to normal within three seconds, we're good to go. All right. If it takes a little bit longer, no worries. Just loosen your bands a tad. We don't want to be going too crazy. Second set, make your way into plank or onto hands and knees. We're going in four, three, Two times rolling all the way down onto the belly. Extend the arms, Superman. Root the hands down, press back up. And for these ones, speed does not matter. Work nice and slowly as you lower down, really engaging every muscle across your chest and your triceps. And just as slowly, press yourself right back up and off the floor, engaging core, engaging glutes. Great, guys. These look good. Nice job, Instagram last 10. See if you can do one or two more. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Wrist stretch. So when we're in plank, we're like this. Let's quickly stretch our wrists the opposite way. So take your right hand, point the fingers down towards the floor. Now, as you do this, your elbow is going to want to bend. Keep pressing your wrist away from your shoulder. Take your left hand and gently guide it down. Good, switch sides, pull the left fingertips in towards the forearm, gently give it a press, pushing the base of the wrist away from you. And we'll come down onto our forearms for our last exercise. We'll do our heart rate lift, and then we'll swap out the bands and do the question of the day. So our last upper body exercise here is our forearm plank hip dip. So I make my way into a forearm plank, my upper body stays stable, my bands are pumping, and I drop my hips side to side. Okay? So see if you can tap the floor with your hips. If this is too difficult, you can also be on your knees or straighten alternating legs back behind you. So it's like a pedal. Straighten, straighten. Okay? User's choice. We'll all meet in forearm plank and start the work in four, three, two, and one. Either rocking side to side. We're starting on the knees and extending alternating leg back. Good. And if you're rocking, I want to see that your shoulders are nice and stable. 
and the forearms stay rooted into the mat. The work is really in the hips, side to side, using our core, using our obliques, using our shoulders, our biceps, we're working. Fantastic, last 20 seconds. Then we're gonna come up for a sip of water, get our hearts pumping, and we'll keep on moving. Good, 10 more. Wherever you are, try not to let your hips, the front of them touch the floor, only the sides. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone hop on up, nice job, grab a sip of water. Three moves, 30 seconds each. We call this cardio boost. The first move is alternating heel tap, 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 tap. That's one version or tap, 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 depending on how you're feeling today. The second move, star jacks. I get small. I jump up, in, up, in. So this also can vary depending on what you're feeling today. You can do single leg or you can get explosive. Okay. User choice. Last one, knees to elbows. I go up, 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 or it can be a jump, up, 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 all right? We're starting with heel tap in three, two, one, 30 seconds, tap it out. Woo wee Monday sweat starts now. All right. Nice, last 10, give me what you got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Star Jack, everybody get small. Ready, set, let's go. Up, in, up, in. Keep going, totally okay to tap. Give a smaller jump. But wherever we are, we bring everything in, then we extend out, out. Yes, half done. These are great guys, these all don't kill me. Good, last 10. Then we're gonna come into knees to elbows in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head. Woo, I'm breathing hard, here we go. Up, up, side to side. If this is easy for you, bring your elbows back behind your knees. If this is still easy for you, go fast. <laughs> That's it. Good. Last 10. Get those knees all the way up. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and rest. Big sip of water. Let's swap out our bands. And one of the questions that we had last week was what is one word you would use to describe yourself? And I love the answers. They were super positive. I like it. Now, the question for today is, in one word, what is one thing you'd like to improve upon in yourself? So I wanna hear it in the chat. In one word, one thing you wanna improve upon. As we swap out our bands, put it on our leg bands. I know, it's not an easy one for Monday. I'll start, I'll start. Mine is patience. <laughs> Steve says height, George says empathy. Okay, we've got empathy, height, patience, swimming. Thank you, Quentin. <laughs> air, air for kiteboarding, more air. air. More air for kiteboarding. Okay, okay, I like it. Some of these are athletic, some of these are personal. Anyone else? I'm gonna pop my leg mids on. Jeff says, staying in my power. Justin says, overthinking. I love these guys. I hear you on all of them. <laughs> I think some of these answers are kind of universal. I wouldn't say getting better at swimming is my top, top priority right now, but I should definitely use that. What else we got? Jim, focus and attention. Gabe says patience. Sydney says coordinates. Confidence. Confidence. I think what's coordinates? Confidence. Oh. I think, and this is just me, that these are the best answers to any question I've ever asked. I love that you guys are being honest, and I really appreciate it. And 
a lot of these things, confidence, patience, staying in my power, focus and attention. I like to think that working out is a great avenue to practice a lot of these things. Because goodness knows, when my body's not doing what I want it to, I'm not always the most patient. Patient, and I have to exercise that myself. All right, bands on, setting up our cycles. These are great answers. All right, so once we get all set up, we are going to start with our calf work. Small muscles to bigger muscles in the legs. And this, is, this can happen in one of two ways. So first option, slightly easier. I lift alternating heel off the floor and I cycle it out, okay? Second option, a little bit harder. I lift both heels off the floor and I drop alternating heels down, but I don't let either heel touch. So it's a lower, 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 lower. So either letting the heel fully hit the floor if you're still working on balance or keeping the heels up the whole time. Okay, so we're gonna do this for a full minute to really get our calves working. And then we're gonna do our heart rate boost and move on to some more strength-based stuff. So wherever you're starting, either heels up or one heel down, we're going in three, two, one, pedal it out. And it can be hard to keep the heels lifted the whole time. I find that I kind of start to lean forward or I kind of start to topple backwards. So how can you use your core and your glutes? Imagine you have a book balancing on the top of your head the whole time. And that might mean that you move a little bit slower and that's okay. If we're working on balance, we're definitely working on strengthening our calves, working the little bitty stabilizer muscles that are very important to help us stay balanced. Half done. Woo, get my lean up. Good, see if you can get your heels up a little bit higher. Is your core working for you or against you? Draw it in. That's it. Good, last 15. Way easier to do this when I'm facing at you guys than when I'm looking over my shoulder. Something to note for balance, you always wanna be looking forward, finding one spot on the wall or the floor and focusing on it. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, calves are going. Let's get our heart rate up again. All right, first up, let me get my cycle going. We have alternating heel taps. 30 seconds in four, three, two, and one. Tap it out. Yes, there we go. Leg bands are pumping. Heart rate's pumping. Last 10, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Star jazz, get small, hop it out. Ready, set, go. Out, in, out, in. Let me see a big old jump at the top. That's it. Woo, I lost myself, keep going, keep going. <laughs> Amazing, last 10. Get that firework jump at the top. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last up, knees to elbows. Ready, set, go. Up, up, side to side. Try and get your elbow to the outer edge of your knee. Little side body crunches, core is working too. That's it. Up, up. See if you can keep your heels off the floor the whole time. Why not? Last 10. After this, we're gonna take a quick sip of water. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Grab that water and I'll demonstrate our next exercise. We are going with a good old fashioned hamstring curl. So I'm standing on my right leg. I come onto the tips of my left foot. I draw my heel in towards my butt and I lower it back down. Now what's gonna happen here? is this left knee is gonna to start to wanna to come forward. Don't let it. Almost think about gluing your knees towards each other. As you curl the heel in, hover, in, hover. And I wanna keep my core engaged so I don't sway out my back. Up, 
down. That's the work, okay? And you can either tap your toes to the floor or keep them lifted. 40 seconds, first side, then we're going right to the other side. We have two sets. By all means, if you need to hold on to a wall, a chair, something for balance, that's fine. We're going for strength, okay? Coming into the big toes of the left foot, pulling the heel into the butt, ready, set, go. In, hover, in, hover, keep growing taller. Squeeze, notice if your knees are spraying forward, that's cheating. Up, down, up, down. We're firing up this muscle like heck, keep going. Let me check in and see how we're doing. Uh -huh. And you can do whatever you need to or want to with your hands for balance. In four, we're gonna switch sides. Three, two, beautiful, one. This time right leg, coming to the big toes. Time's rolling, we go up, down, up, down. That's it. Up, down, keeping your foot super flexed, pulling the heel in. Make it powerful, mm-hmm. Notice if you're starting to tip forward, grow a little bit taller. Yes, nice job. Uh-huh, good, we have six, five, good Gabe, four, three, two, and one, rest. We have one more set of those. If you wanna make it more challenging, shorten your range of motion so that muscle is contracting even more. What does that mean? We we'll go like this, I pull my heel in, I check my knees, little pulses, up, 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 kick, 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 kick. And it looks a little erratic, but that muscle is squeezing so hard the whole time, but it's really freaking hard. All right, let's start with the left leg. Heel up, knees back, ready, set, go. You can either do the full range or you can do little kicks up, 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 up. Yeah. Because there's usually always a way to make it more hard. Awesome, Justin. Good balance, Ethan. Lily looks great. Yes, guys. Good job. Mm hmm. Good. In five, we're going to switch sides. We have four, three, two, and one. Bring that right heel up. Pull the knee back. Ready, set, go. Noticing if you're slouching out. Keep growing taller. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. You're holding a ball between your knee crease and I want you to try and pop, pop. Yes. Awesome, Chris. And someone's on here that says Kelly's new iPad, but I think that's someone named Dan, I'm not positive. <laughs> or it's Kelly, I'm not sure, but you look great. Good, okay, so you can thumbs up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Great job, guys, all right. Last heart rate boost of the day, and then we're going pure strength. First move, heel tap in three, two, one. Last one, let's do it. Breaking a sweat. And you don't have to jump. Do your best to get your feet up. That's all I care about. Best part of a lot of these workouts is you get to control the intensity where in which you work at. Yes, that's it, last 10. Woo! We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Get small, star gas, ready, set, go. Up, up. Maybe get those feet all the way out the floor. Yeah, half done. Big old explosive movements at the top. Even if you're stepping, let me see you big. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, knee to elbows. Ready, set, go. Side to side. Get those knees up. Yeah. We're moving. We're breathing. We're gonna take a water break. And then we're gonna do some mountain climbers. Last 10. Show me what you got. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and whoo, water break. Nice work. Okay.
double tap cross body mountain climber. That's a lot of words for a move that we already know how to do. So I come into my plank position, double tap cross body. I find my right knee. I tap, tap, step, tap, tap, step. So instead of normal mountain climbers where I'm just bringing my knees in, I want you to pulse, pulse, switch, pulse, pulse, switch. Really working the core as you get that knee in a little bit higher each time, okay? We're gonna do them for a minute. So pick a sustainable pace. You can always drop your knees, cross, 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 cross. But I want you to do your best to get your knee all the way up to the opposite elbow, kick. Really get it up there, okay? One minute, come into plank position or tabletop on hands and knees. We're going in four, three, two, let me see you work. Yes. I love that double pulse because we're able to get our core a little bit more intensely than with normal mountain climbers. Nice, Diane. Jim, you're on fire. I love it. Quentin's flying and he took a rest. <laughs> there he goes again. Yes. Now, as you keep going, we're halfway done. Making sure of one thing and only one thing I really care about. Are you breathing? Sydney and Sophia look great. Keep going, girls. Yes. Last 15 seconds. Now is when we get to go all out. Sprint, give me everything you've got. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Woo, hop on up to stand. Now, we have two more leg exercises where we're going for strength. Then we're gonna work on some extended balance today. And then we're gonna do some core. So for our next two exercises, I want you to keep giving me everything you've got because we're not doing any more cardio stuff. This is our cardio stuff. Next up, jump, lunge, switch, pulse. I'm gonna show you the move. Don't panic, there's a modification. So I step one foot forward, the other foot back. I jump, jump, pull, jump, jump, pull, jump, jump, back knee down, okay? I do one side and then I do the other side. If that's not working for you today, I want you to step, step, pull, step, step, pull. Whichever variation you're in, on that pulse, you drop the back knee down. Hop, hop, drop, hop, hop, hold on, that does not work, hop, hop, drop, hop, hop, drop. Okay, so we only do one leg at a time. It's a double hop, drop. And if it's super confusing, don't worry about it. As long as you're lunging, you're doing great work, okay? So left foot forward, right foot back. I'll get us started. 40 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Hop, hop, drop, hop, hop, drop. That's it, drop. Perfect work. Keep going. Woo! -hoo. All right. Got up a notification on my Instagram that our curfew is starting. All right, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Last 15 seconds. Let me see that back knee get down to the floor. Keep your spine nice and straight. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two and one. I saw a lot of legs going there. I love it. Let's do the other side. Right foot forward. Totally okay to step, step, drop. Okay? We're going in three, two, one. Hop, hop, drop. Hop, hop, drop. Yes. Awesome. Mm hmm And as you drop to the back knee down, nice, just. Look at you, Chris. Heck yeah. We're more than half done. Perfect, Jim. Think about activating your core and your glutes to support your body the whole time. Last 10 seconds. Let me see what you got. After this, we have one more set. Nice, John. We have six, five, four, three, two, and.
and rest. Take it out, shake it out. One more set. All right, next up, one more set. Set the left foot forward. We're going in three, two, one. Hop, hop, drop. Hop, hop, drop. That's it. Woo. Yes. Mm-hmm. If you don't know what to do or you are tired and confused, just keep lunging we're working the glutes we're working the quads we're working our hamstrings we have 15 seconds left on this side then we're doing the other and then we are done with these lunges last 10. yes get that back knee all the way down to the floor for seven six five four three two one and done switch it up right foot forward ready set go hop hop drop hop hop Drop. Beautiful. And we will be doing no more jump lunges this week. I know these are difficult ones. We are half done. Now notice what your spine is doing here. Is it starting to round out and get sleepy? Or are you staying up nice and tall, keeping that same book we've had balanced on our head upright the whole time? Last 10 seconds. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three two, and one. Awesome. Last move of the day. Hands to the hips. Give it a swirl and a twirl. Other way. All right. In, out, double punch squat. So I get low in a squat position. No matter who you are and what you're doing, I want you to do your best to keep your butt low the whole time. One variation of this, out, in, punch, punch, out, in, punch, punch. Other variation, step, punch, punch, step, punch, punch, okay? Each time you're doing this, if you can sink your butt even lower, you're having a good day. So if I'm like this, oh yeah, I wanna see you get really low, okay? We're doing two 40 second sets and then we are done with the strength and we're going strictly balanced. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Out, in, punch, punch. Out, in, punch, punch. Keep dropping your butt down so you can get stronger. Awesome. And as you're punching, try not to let your body move. It's strictly the arms. So your core is working to support you. We get a little extra bonus in there. Yes, that's it. Bottom down, bottom down. Yeah. Awesome, George. Last 10. Good. Lowest version yet. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, legs are tired. Kick them out. Last set. Ready? You can always take the step variation as long as you're moving. Everybody drop into squat position. On your mark. Get set, let's go. Butts down, don't let your legs straighten the whole time. We have that punch in there to give your legs a little break from the jump or the step. Now again, noticing are you slouching or are you dropping your butt low, working these muscles? Woo -hoo. Last 15, get even lower. We can do it, last strength exercise of the day. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, stay with me, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Butt kicks, release your quads. Well, there we go. We did it. Now we've got balance and core. Okay. Let's take a deep breath. Whew. Take a deeper breath. Okay, now is when we get to slow things down and it's just as much a mental challenge as it is a body challenge. So I've referenced the term proprioception before. It's our brain's ability to tell where a given body part is in space at any given time. So right arm right, left arm up, left arm down, right arm down. The faster, the more we can hone our proprioception, 
the sharper our brain is and the less apt we get injured because we know where our body parts are. So let's practice proprioception with a little game that we often do in plank called Simon Says. So Simon Says, hands on hips. Simon says, right leg out to the right. Simon says, hold it. Set it down. Simon did not say. Good. Simon says, little kicks out to the side. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Simon says, hover the foot off the floor. Little pulses in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Set that foot down. Simon did not say. Simon says, set that foot down. Simon says, take your right foot off the floor. Your left foot, sorry. Simon says, pulse it in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Simon says, extend that foot out to the left and hold it. Yeah, Simon says, pulse it up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, tap your head. Dang, I didn't get you guys. Simon says, set that foot down. Simon says, right arm out to the right. Simon says, left arm out to the left. Simon says, bring your right leg towards your right arm. As high as you can go. Simon says, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Simon says, set it down. Mm -hmm. Simon says, arms stay straight, little circles forward. We're almost done, guys. I appreciate your patience. You're doing great. Simon says, little circles backwards. Bring your left leg to your left arm. Simon did not say yet. Simon says, left leg to left arm. Yes. Show me what you got. Hold it. Simon says, hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Two, Simon says, set it down. Simon says, reach your arms up, take a big stretch. Simon says, release your arms down by your sides. The game of Simon says is now done. Let's take a seat and do some core. Last work for the day. I'm gonna angle this down a bit so you can see me. Much better. All right. So, we have two things we are doing for the core today. This first one you'll notice might hit, hurt your hip flexors a little bit. If you notice that happening, it is completely normal and it is part of building a strong core. Our legs are really heavy to lift, so sometimes our hip flexors kick in to help our core with the weight. So unless it becomes unbearable, just try and keep engaging your core and work through it. I take my hands on my head. I kick my left leg up, then I pull knee to elbow. I kick my right leg up, knee to elbow, alternating sides, we're doing one minute, okay? Up and in. After that, we come down into the floor, it's a double crunch. I go in, out, in, down. We're doing 30 seconds of that, and then we're done. So, two moves, 90 seconds, we can absolutely do this. Hands behind the, behind the head. First minute, we're going in three, two, one, I kick up, twist, up, twist, that's it, up, over, up, over. Now notice if you're starting to round out your spine here, keep growing taller, twist, up, twist, keep it up, keep it up, that's the stuff, beautiful. Keep driving your heel away from you, getting that hamstring stretch, ooh, yeah. Good, now see if you can grow a little bit taller as you're working here. Mm -hmm. Last 20 seconds. Great job, guys. Good, see if you can get those legs up even higher. Ooh, I like it. Last 10, then we're gonna take a hamstring stretch. We have eight, seven, keep going. Six, five, four, three, two. Keep your hands behind your head. Hinge forward, think flat spine. Come back up. Hinge forward, flat spine. Come back up. This time, hinge forward. Reach your arms back behind you. Keep dropping your belly button down towards your thighs. We have eight, seven. Hold toes and towards nose. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up to sit. Make your way down into your back. 
double crunch, hands behind the head. We go in, down, in, down. 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's do it. In, down, in, down. If you want more of a challenge, don't let your feet or your head hit the floor. So pull them in, hover, in, hover. Better yet, try and get your butt off the mat. Beautiful. I like it. Last 15. Good. We have nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pull your knees into the chest. Rock and roll up to sit. Hop on up to stand. I have fantastic news. We went through this workout so quickly and so well that we have time to do one more heart rate boost. Oh my goodness, I know, it's terrible, but we're gonna do it. Okay, alternating heel taps. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, gang, we went fast, we did well. We get to do more work. After this, we'll stretch. Get them up, get them up, half done. Last 10. I promise I'm not sneaking anything else in today. We have six, five, four, three, two, one. Get really small, star jacks, ready, set, go. Up, up. Yeah. Woo. Half done. Moving is moving. Keep going. You can do it. Channel the U from 30 minutes ago. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, elbows to knee. Ready, set, go. Up, up, side to side. Keep pressing your elbows back the whole time. No slouchy stuff. Yeah. All right, last 10. Show me what you got. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right. Now we stretch. Left foot forward, right foot back. Come into a lunge position. Bend into the front knee. Drop your hips down. Getting a big stretch across the front of the right thigh. If you want to grab onto a chair or wall, by all means, go ahead. Woo. Slowing down that breathing. Now, start to drop your back heel down to the floor. Straighten out your front leg as best you can. Walk your hands down your leg. Spine can be totally rounded. Imagine you're pulling your carpet or your mat in opposite directions with your feet to create traction and get a bigger stretch. Now notice if your left hip is starting to sneak forward, keep pulling it back. Hmm. We've got about 20 more seconds here. So keep letting yourself hang deeper and deeper. We don't have to force anything. Just let the body open up. Nice. All right. Start to roll yourself back up to stand. Let's switch sides, right foot forward, left foot back. Starting with the heel lifted as you bend the front knee, drop the hips low. Feeling this across the front of the left thigh. And you can deepen the stretch by pulling your back heel lower and lower towards the floor. So taking as much bend out of the back knee as you can and then squeezing your glutes to protect your back. And then drop your back heel, straighten your front leg, walk the hands down as far as you can. See if you can slow your breathing down. Got 20 more seconds here. Let yourself relax. Let yourself hang. We've done a lot of movement. 
give yourself this couple seconds just to be still and let the body stretch and lengthen. And last three breaths. Good, and then rebend into the front knee. Roll on up to stand, come into a wide-legged stance, hands to hips, move side to side, bend alternating knee. Good, as you come back to center, hook your thumbs, reach the arms all the way up, big stretch over to the right. Come back to center, switch the hook, hook of the thumbs over to the left. And then come back to center, release the hand, give yourself a round of applause. Good job, everyone. Happy Monday, happy June, new month. We're gonna keep working hard. Good Thank to see you everyone. very much. Bye. Bye.